The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Cooper City High takes on West Broward High tonight on School Duel. <laughs> anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. The ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now as you see, this semi-final game features Cooper City High versus West Broward High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the championship game of School Duel. So let's hear it for our two competitors. <laughs> and one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Let's start this off with Disney. What animated Disney movie gave us the songs Grassland Chant and Circle of Life? Melody. The Lion King? Yes, very good. <laughs> Next question deals with geometry. Give the math adjective for a triangle with three unequal sides. Yes, Oladapo. Obtuse. Incorrect. Cooper City Melody? Isosceles. Incorrect. It's scalene. Planets, Earth, Mars, and Mercury are three of the four inner planets named the fourth. Benjamin? Venus. Yes, good job. <laughs> Land. Give the two-word term for the legal concept called compulsory purchase in England that allows government to take private land. Matthew? Eminent domain. Yes, good job. <laughs> okay, plants. If torn out of the ground, this plant blows and somersaults across the desert landscape. Yes, Melody? Tumbleweed. Yes, good job. <laughs> okay, storms. A water spout is what type of storm when it forms over a body of water, Benjamin? Tornado. Good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Bailey Hall at Broward College. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. Identify the game whose name is Swahili for build and whose object is to move blocks from the bottom. Yes, Christian? Jenga. Good job. All right, here's a little tidbit about Jenga. The record for the highest known Jenga towers is 40 complete stories with two blocks into the 41st, claimed in 1985 by Robert Grebler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next question deals with founding fathers. He is known as the father of the Constitution. Yes, Benjamin. James Madison. Good job. <laughs> All right, moving on to holiday food. An edible mixture, normally consisting primarily of small cut up pieces of bread, name this thing's, yes, Robert? Stuffing. Yes, good job. All right, agencies. An agency within the Department of Transportation, the Federal Transit Administration, Christian? Amtrak. Incorrect, Cooper City. The Federal Transit Administration oversees public transportation, including these underground transits found in New York and Chicago. Melody? Subway. Yes, good job. Sports. Name the city for the professional ice hockey expansion team that will begin play in the 2021 National Hockey League season. The team will play in the redeveloped Key Arena. Yes, Justin? Las Vegas. Incorrect, West Broward. The team will play in the redeveloped Key Arena that was home to the NBA Supersonics and is Robert? Seattle. Yes, good job. Okay, Supreme Court. Identify the U.S. Supreme Court case that, on a 5-4 decision, 
settled the controversial presidential election of the year 2000 and was named for that year's two major presidential candidates. Oladapo? Gore v. Bush. Very good. All right, spelling. Since Donald Trump became president, the Washington Post has changed its slogan to democracy dies in Christian? D-A-R-K-N-E-S-S. Incorrect. Cooper City. Since Donald Trump became president, the Washington Post has changed its slogan to democracy dies in darkness. Spell democracy. Abby. D-E-M-O-C-R-A-C-Y. Good job. Oh, there's my horn. That means the end of the first strike round. We have a close game. Cooper City has 70. West Broward has 50. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Greetings from Japan. My name is Deanna Gonzalez, alumni from Shamana Madonna and two-time champion of School Duel from 2013 to 2014. Presently, I teach English in Japan. I've been teaching here since August 2018, and I just wanted to wish School Duel a happy 10-year anniversary, or in Japanese, Jushune no medetou gozaimasu, and thank you so much for everything that you've done for us students. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. of action ended with Cooper City leading. They have 70 points. West Broward not far behind with 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, my name is Benjamin. I'm a senior and I'm team captain. Let's get those dubs, Cowboys. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a senior. Let's go, Cowboys. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm a senior. Let's go, Cowboys. My name's Melody, I'm a senior, let's go Cowboys. I'm Justin, I'm a senior, and let's go Cowboys. What's up, okay. it's your boy, so, we're hanging out. <laughs> Sebastian's doing homework. <laughs> the grind don't stop, Justin's eating a donut. How is it? It's good? Wow, very descriptive. How is everyone feeling? Fine. Feeling ready. Right. Feeling ready. Ready for our third game. We're ready. We're ready. ready for We're our ready. third game. Woo, 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 woo. Go Cowboys! I'm Robert. I'm the team captain and I'm a senior. Go Bobcats. I'm Oladapo. I'm a junior. Go Bobcats. I'm Matthew and I'm a senior. Go Bobcats. I'm Dalen, I'm a senior, go Bobcats. I'm Christian, I'm a senior, go Bobcats. Yo, Maddie, you ready? Yeah, we're gonna get this. Get it. Let's get, get this it. bread. We're gonna get this dub. Get it. About to go film. Play cheese over that Three, two, one, go. 
Absolutely amazing. West Broward High School. Go Bobcats! Let's hear it for both schools. Now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the Joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to Joust. All right, Benjamin and Robert, come on down. It's your turn to Joust. Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. He is on the Smithsonian's list of 100 most significant Americans of all time. Name this man who was the first to walk on the moon. Yes, Robert? Neil Armstrong. Yes, good job. We are now with Wes Broward. The following bonus questions all deal with the Smithsonian's 100 most significant Americans of all time. Bonus question number one. Name this Native American woman who accompanied the Lewis and Clark expedition, Matthew. Um... Sacagawea. Very good. Bonus question number two. Pocahontas is said to have saved this Virginian from execution. Name him. Old Apple. John Smith. Good. Bonus question number three. This Italian explorer has two continents named for him. Yes, Old Apple. Amerigo Vespucci. Good job. Excellent. All right, Abby and Christian, it's your turn, so come on down. Toss of question worth 10 points. Name this 1970s dance music played in nightclubs and featured in the movie. Yes, Matt, I'm Christian. Disco. Very good. Yeah. All right, the following bonus questions deal with common terms for these styles of music. Bonus question number one. Name for a Puerto Rican or Cuban dance music, also a name for a condiment used on tacos, Matthew. Salsa. Good job. Bonus question number two. What two-word term is for music played by a large swing orchestra like Benny Goodman? Christian. Bossa Nova. Incorrect, it's big band. All right, here's your third bonus question. Name this combination of Scotch and Irish folk music with lots of fiddles playing. That would be Celtic music. All right, Matthew and Justin, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Gentlemen, here's a thoughtful question. It's worth 10 points. How many S's are in the state name Mississippi? Yes, Justin. Four. Good job. Yeah. All right, Cooper City, the following bonus questions. Give the number of times the letter S appears in each of these words. Bonus question number one. Defined as the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language, how many S's are in the word syntax? Abby? One. Good. Yeah. Bonus question number two. How many S's are in the word abscess? Yes, Melody? Two. Incorrect, it's three. Bonus question number three. How many S's are in the word senselessness? Abby? Six. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, my last two, Melody and Oladapo. Come on down, it's your turn to douse. Here's your topic question worth 10 points. In 1956, two years after the phrase under God was added to the Pledge of Allegiance, President Eisenhower signed a law declaring what to be the American national motto. Yes, Melody? In God we trust. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, Cooper City, the following bonus questions all deal with mottos. Bonus question number one. During what century did the French first adopt the motto liberty, equality, fraternity? Justin. 1789. Good job. Yeah. Bonus question number two. Translated as, I have found it, what Greek word is the state motto of California? Abby. Eureka. Good job. Yeah. Bonus question number three. While be prepared is the Boy Scouts motto, what is the motto of the Brownies? It's Lend a Hand. And there's our buzzer. That means the end to the doubt. We have Cooper City leading. They have 130 points. West Broward has 110 points, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages.
It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. season of School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now today's semi-final game has Cooper City High competing against West Broward High School. Currently, Cooper City is leading. They have a score of 130 to West Broward's 110. It is time for the rapid action round. During this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since West Broward is trailing, they get to go first, while Cooper City waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is Earth Science. In this category, the questions all deal with Earth Science, and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So here comes rapid action. Let's cue music and begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex walked on how many legs? Odapo? Two. A gemstone variety of sapphires, typically what color? Matthew? Blue. The scientific name for a large ocean wave created by an undersea earthquake, Matthew? Tsunami. A mineral is composed of one or more simple chemical substances called what? Matthew? Elements. What is the Earth's period of revolution? Odapo? 365 days. The Greenland Current flows into the North Atlantic and what other ocean? Matthew? Uh, the Pacific Ocean. What celestial body powers Earth's hydrologic cycle? Robert? The moon. Which land biome characterizes nearly one third of the world's land surface? Christian. Desert. Name the most abundant element in peat. Christian? Sulfur. The deepest sediments are in which ocean? Matthew. Pacific. All right, good job, West Broward. We got through all of your questions. That's here at the West Broward High. And now with a little TV magic, we're going to bring in Cooper City High. 
and welcome back to the city. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is earth science. In this category, the questions all deal with earth science. Each question is worth 10 points. Remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex walked on how many legs? Melody. Two. A gemstone variety of sapphires, typically what color? Abby. Blue. The scientific name for a large ocean wave created by an undersea earthquake? Justin. Tsunami. A mineral is composed of one or more simple chemical substances called what? Melody. Elements. What is the Earth's period of revolution? Benjamin. 365 days. The Greenland current flows into the North Atlantic in what other ocean? Melody. The Arctic. What celestial body powers Earth's hydrologic cycle? Justin. Moon. Which land biome characterizes nearly one third of the world's land surface? Melody. Taiga. Name the most abundant element in peat. Justin. Carbon. The deepest sediments are in which ocean? Melody. The Pacific. All right, good job, Cooper City. All right, that sound means the end of the rapid action round. Both teams only missed two questions. And the answers are, what celestial body powers Earth's hydrologic cycle? That's the sun. Also, the deepest sediments are in which ocean? That would be the Atlantic Ocean. And currently, Cooper City is leading. They have 200 points. West Broward, not far behind. They have 170 points. Let's give them a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the championship game of School Duel. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School duel, and we've got a good game going. Currently, Cooper City is leading. They have 200 points. West Broward's right behind them. They have 170 points. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time, these questions are worth 20 points each. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is fourth spot in the School Duel Championship game. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with rights. What famous constitutional rights were named for an Arizona defendant who was not told? Yes, Robert? Miranda. Soda. What soda brand officially dropped the period from its name in the 1950s and has a similar? Yes, Melody? Dr. Pepper. Physics. What law of physics relates the current through a resistor to the voltage? Oladapo? Ohm's law. Cubes. What is the cube root of 216? Oladapo. Eight. Incorrect. Cooper City. Benjamin. Six. Spelling. A kind of fish. Spell the word herring. Matthew. H-E-R-R-I-N-G. Numbers. If a number is divisible by both two and three, then it's also divisible. Matthew. Six. Movie characters. In 2008, what heroic movie character inspired a special edition of Mr. Potato Head titled Taters of the Lost Ark? 
Yes, Melody. Indiana Jones. Hacks. It has a capacity of roughly three quarts, which is about 7% of the volume promised by the name of what cowboy hat? Yes, Melody. A 10 gallon hat. Icons. The grave of what colonial icon is often bombarded with copper coins as a tribute to the man who coined the phrase, a penny saved is a penny earned. Name this founding father and first, yes, Christian? Benjamin Franklin. Rock music. What current rock band is often compared to Led Zeppelin and received Robert? Greta Van Fleet. Actresses. Name the actress who plays a Russian spy in the recent movie Red Sparrow. Yes, Abby? Jennifer Lawrence. Tennis. Name the tennis star and native of Serbia who won his 15th career Grand Slam event. Justin? Federer. Incorrect. Wes Broward. Yes, Robert? Djokovic. Italy. Which Italian city was preserved for centuries in the ash of Mount Vesuvius? Yes, Christian? Pompeii. Running mates. Currently a U.S. state senator from Virginia. Who was Hillary Clinton's running mate? Robert? Um. Justin. Kane. Mountains. What is the most mountainous state in the U.S. and has a capital of Carson City? Yes, Oladapo? Colorado. Incorrect. Cooper City, Benjamin. Nevada. Devices. Santorio, Santorio, while teaching in Italy in the Middle Ages, added a numerical scale to what temperature measuring device? Yes, Benjamin. Thermometer. The NBA. This retired player was a record six-time NBA most valuable player and led... Yes, Benjamin. Michael Jordan. Incorrect. West Broward, Robert. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Outlaws. Which legendary American outlaw escaped to Bolivia with his partner, Butch Cassidy? Yes, Oladapo. Billy the Kid. Cooper City. Benjamin. Sundance the Kid. Novels. What novel that says, or would be crazy to fly more missions and sane if he didn't? But if he, yes, Christian? That's 22. Planets. What is the most distant gas giant? Matthew. Neptune. Multiple meanings. Identify. Oh! to the semi-final school duel game. And what a game it was. Wes Broward is going on to winning. They end with a score of 390 points, but right behind them was Cooper City. They had 380 points. Now this win, Wes Broward is putting you into the championship game. So congratulations and great job to everyone. Now, this also brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge, and today's winner is, drum roll, Melody from Cooper City. Melody, congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Now, at this time, we want to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you for watching. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, and you can watch past shows. And please remember to use the hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Jose Martin Mass takes on Park Vista in another great semifinal match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.